Today I get a chance to sit down with the hilarious comedian Mike Bichetti. He's been on Last Comic Standing, Howard Stern, MTV. He's all over the place. I've got him here. Check out the interview. All right, so hello, I'm Ted, and I'm here interviewing Mike Bichetti. He's a stand-up comedian. He's been on Last Comic Standing. He's been on Howard Stern. He's been on a bunch of things. It's good to meet you. We're here in Staten Island. Mike, how you doing? I'm doing quite well, Ted. It's nice to meet you. Actually, uh, did you, did you tr are you an American now? You travel a lot. Um, I, I, I just travel. I, I, I haven't gotten citizenship or anything yet. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. No, I don't know. That's don't why know. we're shooting this in a, uh, my house. Right, right. It's, it's basically, that's what's going on. Um, I, wanted, I wanted to ask you, uh, when, when you were starting comedy, who, who inspired you? What were, what were some of the big inspirations? And were the people you thought, oh, I just want to be like them one day? Oh, okay. Uh, I had a variety of people, actually. Tend. I had uh, Andrew Dice Clay I loved. Okay. I was also inspired by Red Skelton, who was like, you know, a long time ago, but he was like, a physical comic, uh, Red Fox for sure from San Francisco. I, I haven't heard of some of these people. What what, what are the styles like exactly? Uh, Red, Red Fox was on Stanford and Son. He was pretty well known years ago. Uh, Red Skelton was like could do comedy without making you laugh and cry at the same time. He would do great characters. Like he would do a character named uh, Freddie the Freeloader, who was like a, a, a homeless person in those days or whatever. But he'd make you sit, laugh and make you cry at the same time. And by cry, you mean like actual drama? Like that actually be... No, it would just touch you in his comedy. That's right, man. Oh, that's the good stuff right there, right? When you have a hint of soul, Absolutely. rather than just some guy who's just yokeling. And us some right. guy babbling, some... some uh, hey, some... how are you guys doing today? Kind of, right, <laughs> you know, right, that's my best impression. That's my American. But that's hey, the... we got a... Uh, where's, uh, where's my Latinos out here? Like, you know, it's always like that kind of thing. Oh, right. like, uh, you know, talking about a Hellman's mayonnaise and TWO airline food. Right. Oh, it's uh, the, just the hack mania, right? And that seems like that's a lot of comedy. I've but, noticed, I, what I like about your style is you seem like you have a heart, and you, you really do go for that deeper approach. I do, Ted, because you know why? Comedy is, is reality sometimes, because the great comics like Richard Pryor, uh, Sam Kennison, were themselves. That's the key to comedy, to be yourself. So thank you, everybody, for watching the Michael Sherry Show today, and thank you, my co-host, Mr. Ken Burmeister, <laughs> my uh, friendly slosh, uh, Johnny Conroy from UCB. Uh, we That's Upright Citizens Brigade, in case anybody doesn't know what that means. Yes. We had clips also today of uh, Nick Gallo from The Onion. We had uh, Richard Christie's band. We had, um, what else do we have? The puppet thing. Oh, yes. I'm sorry. Mass 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 he's great. He's going to be joining us in June. And uh, John Conroy. John yeah, Conroy. UCB. You mentioned him already, but he was, he was all right. I was kind of a douche to him. Sometimes I just get like that. You know, but, you know. Okay, sorry. Thank you, nice. Hey, we want to thank you guys for tuning in. Tune in every Friday at 12 p.m. on dmikeboschettyshow.com. Take care. And now, Avi Rosen, what's his name again? Rosen Fox. Avi Fox Rosenbaum. Oh, I'm sorry, no, Avi Fox Rosen. Yeah. Avi Fox Rosen. She's going to take us out, buddy. train wreck, that fucking mess of a human being, because I know who your dad is, and I love him, he's awesome, he makes great movies. Uh, could be a little nicer, you know? I mean, you know, me? give me a, yeah, you have to give me a little bit more respect. You no, know? I respect you, it's just, Ken, it's going to be a problem. He's the problem, not you, buddy. You know how much I love you, your dad, or what would you guys make? Don't okay, I see. But just... you can punch off the back end, I'll make sure your dad gives him to you. Oh, so you want... I stuck up, he was, he was raining about the Jews before, and I got one jumped all over him, right? Yeah. Um... Thank you. Thank you. She liked a lot of fun. I enjoyed everything. Fucking idiot that idiot is. Hey, I've been trying to fucking get you all day. Where were you? Let me tell you something. The next time you disrespect somebody on my show again, I'm all over you like white on hippo shit. Do you fucking understand that, you goddamn 
miserable imbecile. Okay? Dickweed. Damn, Bachetti. Welcome to the show. I hope that you don't mind if it ain't really gonna go the way you would thought. Cause if it went that way, I don't know what to say. It wouldn't be my show, it would be your show. And oh no, it can't be. It all revolves around me. But don't worry, it'll be good just like I promised it would be. So sit back, relax, drink up, evade your taxes, paying cash. And here we go, two, three. <laughs>